I've done naked runs where I've spawned in naked in this room, instantly picked up vault and went from naked to vault gear in one raid. Is that boss cards? Oh my god, that's boss cards, chat. We have boss. When you have a boss confirmed in raid, you need to change the way you play and play a little bit slower. Whenever you get something high end that pays off, you change your play style. But until then, I run around like a psycho. Let's go! We're going straight into vault. The goal for today is giving you everything that I know about missile silo that helps me a ton on surviving and making money in that spot. Missile silo has its attractive features that I abuse when I need them for for instance, when I'm out of high-end armor, especially because I can't buy it, so this applies to all of you guys who can't buy it due to trader level restrictions, because you fish for those boss spawns, and when they do hit, you have a source of three high-end rigs that are very, very good. Not only can you get really high-end armor from Missile Silo, you also have a chance at pulling the Golden SKS. The Golden SKS is the best gun in the game, in my opinion. Yes, you can't put any optics on it, but you guys have seen me bring the gun to island and even pull off insane, like 200 meter shots, headshots, and kills with the Golden SKS. It is a monster, especially at close quarter, and if you are very disciplined with your trigger finger, you can still kill at range with that gun like crazy. If you're looking to get into Matka Miest and want to get into the House of Scott, the skull spawns decently regularly there. You can fish for the skull and get it probably within at least five raids. You also have a very small chance at a purple key card. This is not something you should really be counting on. It is super rare uh, and I'll go over where that spawns and things there. If you're naked and you run out of gear, you can, you can get a bunch of weapons very quickly there. We're gonna be diving deep into Missile Silo. I'll be going over all the specifics in Raid as we go together. We'll go over the weapon choices that are really good there. We're gonna- I'm gonna show you all the high-end spawns inside Missile Silo, the boss spawns. We'll go over player spawns as well, and then we'll go some close quarter strats. Missile Silo is all about close quarter combat, okay? There are not many situations, if any, there are some medium range fights, shooting down long hallways, etc. But most of the stuff is going to be close range combat, right around corners, people are gonna be just a few feet in front of you. And because the map is specifically catered around those close quarter combat fighting, um, you need to bring a gun that is not focused on accuracy, but is more focused on pumping out as much damage per second. These are things like shotguns, SMGs that have really high fire rates, and just keep in mind what bullet type you're using. If it's a smaller caliber, you're not gonna get much pierce through on high-end armor. So if you're rocking nine mil rounds, 10 mil rounds, things of that nature, you need to be aiming for the kneecaps, okay? You need to leg meta um, so that you bypass all armor and get your damage in. Yes, you can go for headshots, uh, if you're really good aim and that works fine, but uh, just keep in mind you will shred people very quickly if you shoot them in the kneecaps with lower end caliber guns. Now me specifically, I'll be pulling in a PPSH. It still has some armor pen. These are slightly larger rounds, so I can chest shot uh, pretty pretty consistently with this uh, and it's gonna do some very very good damage now the problem is is I don't have a backup mag for this so we're gonna be switching and using some other SMGs to show them off Saigo would probably be my favorite pick especially with a drum mag you can absolutely destroy people close quarters with it it is disgusting the DPS it puts out and it's very forgiving on accuracy so let's get moving all right chat I'm gonna go over player spawns. So there's a player spawn back here. And the reason you should know player spawns is because within the first minute of the raid, everyone's starting from that location. You can figure out where they're going and what's happening. So you gotta spawn there. We are at the bottom most floor. And we're coming down here to check the boss. The boss can spawn here. It is very low chance, probably 10 to 15% chance per raid. So he's not here this raid, but we always want to check it because we can make a lot of money from bosses if they spawn. So think of bosses as like a high-end tech spawn. There's something you should always check if you're here because there's a chance... Because there's a chance that you will make good money. What the fuck was that noise? Is that a new reload sound? Chat, did you guys hear that crunch? 
That's weird. Hey, let's... Ah, the second one was me. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Someone's here. Dead. And he's got a second PPSH for me. Love that. Oh my god, we need a... Another down. Look at that point fire monster, man. We can destroy lobbies with these close quarter combat guns. The PPSH is a disgusting SMG. It is so strong. Use it, chat. Especially on missile silo. Okay, this has one tick left in the mag. There's two in this, so I'm gonna switch to this one instead. I can't believe we got another PPSH. That is so good. And how many have we killed? One, two, three? That's three dead? So oh, there's potential for a few more. He had an ooh SKS or AK. We can go check that a little later. Uh, but we're coming up to this floor to go check the other boss spawn. Boss spawns are one of the first things that I like to check because it'll change the way you play if a boss exists or not. If a boss is here, then you need to start playing very defensively and safe because you want to kill all the players so that you can fight the boss solo and don't have to worry about someone coming to shoot you from behind. It's terribly important. Now that we've checked both boss spawns, which this out here, this outside area, is the other boss spawn. That's both of them, so just check both of those. Uh, now we can move on to other high-end tech spawns. So, down here, which there's some death here, there might be a player hanging out still. He might have grabbed Skull and ran. So back in this room, there's a squeaky door and a stairwell there. Just checking my corners. Always check your corners. This is a very tight map. All right, so someone's come back here already, but the skull can spawn here, so you can rack those up. Uh, it's worth a good amount of money, and it's also an entry token. It's an item that can be used to open up uh, the House of Scott. Think of it like a key card or a lower end key card. So those are really important to check for. Um, other high end tech spawns for where any just high end loot can exist is gonna be back here in office. We are on the topmost floor basically. Let's come back here. There's vault there if you happen to get a purple key card and get in there for some good loot. If you come back here, which it doesn't look like this has really been looted a little bit, they haven't looked through the rest. Back in here, I see streamer items terribly often. This is the tweak cheese, it's the hot viper hot sauce. Um, those spawn here terribly often and they're worth, what, 20k a pop? Maybe a little bit more. It's a lot of money. So definitely check this end, this area of the map. Uh, cause you can make some good cash and money there. Uh, another spot, it's very, very rare, but it does happen. There is a purple key card spawn right here on this dresser. You should check it. It just sits up. It's easy to miss, but make sure you check for it cause you might get lucky and vault right around the corner. I've done naked runs where I've spawned in naked in this room cause this is a player spawn area. Uh, and instantly picked up vault and went from naked to vault gear uh, in one raid. We're looking at high-end tech spawns. So as much as this area has been nerfed over time, Elevator used to have a ton of good loot and it still has okay loot. It's, it's definitely more mid now, but it's the only set of filing cabinets that exist uh, outside of office on this map. So you can come in here, it looks like some little rats already dug through it. But these filing cabinets have a chance for decent gun attachments, uh, for ammo crafting supplies, and I've also seen GPUs in there. They're very rare, but uh, they do exist, so it's worth checking. 
Now, I know a lot of you guys have talked about, oh, well, I found purple key cards in this box, so you should always check this box as well. Um, any of these boxes like this, even the wooden ones, they have a chance to spawn high, high-end items. They're just incredibly, incredibly rare. Jet, you guys said gas spawns up here, so I'm gonna check it. Where exactly up here? All the way up? Chat, where exactly does the gas spawn? I mean, I guess I'll see it. I just want to know if I have to climb all the way up here or if it's on this floor. Hmm? Higher? Okay, so it is up at the very top. It's right there. Okay. It could be on the table, you're saying? I'll keep an eye out for it. We'll see if we can find it eventually. Alright, uh... Chat, am I forgetting anything? That's kind of it for high-end gear, uh, if you're looking to make money. It's all about the bosses, you check your key card spawns, you check the streamer item spawn area, uh, you check skull, uh, and then you get out, and you re-roll, and do it all again. Chat, am I forgetting any high-end spawns? I don't think I am. This should be all of them. All right, we're gonna go extract on second floor. We'll get out of here, we'll re-roll another lobby. If there's a Fenix here, I'm gonna shoot this more empty one. He's turned around. I don't even want to waste bullets on him. The other high-end spawn, the last one I can think about, uh, is Crypto Wallet, which spawns right here. It's pretty much almost guaranteed. Um, I would say it's probably 90% to 100% chance for the Crypto Wallet to spawn. And that thing can have upwards of around like 200,000 on it. But those higher end payouts are really rare. Most of the time you'll get a couple grand. Yes, I'll, I'll go over that over like when we do naked runs. Is that a G3 mag just sitting there for me? Ew. There are a lot, just like chat is mentioning, there's a lot of gun spawns and gun uh, weapon lockers and other boxes and they are great. But if you're looking to maximize uh, your money made, you kind of ignore that stuff uh, because it's important to just ha check the high-end things uh, and then extract and restart a new map. Uh, so that you get a chance for all of those things spawning in again. Every time you roll a map, it's rolling the dice to see if you get any of those rare spawns in the map. So the more you roll the dice, the more likely you'll get some of that high-end stuff. We'll do a Glock for Fenixes. Um, I don't need this extra armor module. I'll put that there. And that should be everything that we need. God, I'm going through too many NRSs, man. I only have three bricks of weed left. I gotta get another grow going, but I need so much water for that. All right, we've got extra NRSs. I showed you all the high-end tech spawns and what you should fish for if you're looking to make money um, on kitted runs on Missile Silo. Just farm that stuff. So we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be showing you that. During this raid, I'm gonna show you all of the player spawns because the player spawns are terribly important to know. Most of you guys know these already, but those of you who are new to the game, it's terribly important to learn these. So I'm gonna run and push all the player spawns at the beginning of this run. It's very dangerous because you're getting into fights uh, and I have a good chance of dying, but... Uh, Our latest threat, the Grimace Shake. Here's a spawn. Five million people now. That's, that's scary. Good. Your president, timeless VR out. All right, I'll vote for timeless. <laughs> okay, there's a player spawn back there. There's the one that we spawned at. That's the two ground floor spawns. And then we go up here. So those are the only two spawns in those tunnels. There's a spawn over there. two Fenixes. So there's a spawn down the hall to the left near the train car. There's a spawn up here in showers. This is a good place to find guns if you need them. Please no Timulus, I live in Ohio Wong, I do in my mama's life. <laughs> so this is another player spawn to check and expect people out of. And then we'll go over the rest.
I'm popping mad. Got hit by those guys a little bit. We all appreciate you taking the time and teaching all these tips. I, I got you. People know all this stuff, and I think it's super kind. Oh! A rat! I gotta heal up to full. Holy moly, I thought that was a phoenix. I got a double heal. I almost died to that. So I was going into the skull room, and then I was gonna show you the other spawns. That is a dangerous door to open, you make a lot of noise. And people like to check skull, that's the skull room in there. So, you gotta be ready for that. I highly recommend avoiding that area entirely uh, and going up a different way, but I'm gonna commit to it and probably have to kill this guy. I don't have any more meds, so I need to make sure I get this kill. He's still up there. Take a little quiet. He might be holding this door still. I don't see him. He's probably back here still. He might have grabbed Skull and extracted. Skull's not here. Oh. I think that's someone shooting the Fenix downstairs. I'm gonna go kill that guy. And I'll show you the other spawns. Where the f*** was the other guy? I thought he was above me. Oh, that's my fault. I forgot to bring the mask too. All right, no worries, we'll do another gun. We're gonna bring a different, very good SMG in. It's this puppy right here. And with the drum mag, it's gonna do a lot of good work. I'm gonna wear this mask this time, chat. All right, so we'll go over to spawns on this top floor. Obviously this one here that we just spawned at. I'll rush to the next sure one. If anyone has told you, but according to Ghost of Tabor Wiki, there is now an orange card spawn in the little guard shack by Research on Island. Be nice to check. Can this gun work, please? That'd be great. Okay, so spawn there. There's another spawn right back here, and there's someone fighting the... Fighting the AI right here. We're gonna go kill him. He's dead. I'll show you specifically where that spawn is. It's right back here, in this room to the right. So here's the other player's spawn. Now there's a third one on this floor that you need to worry about. And I'll show you that. Rest in peace. Someone really close here. Is that boss guards? Oh my god, that's boss guards, chat. We have boss. We have boss here. I'm gonna let that guard cover him. He's covering the other spawn I was gonna show you. Where were those shots? Is he below me? Yeah, there's one right below me. That's who's making all that metal noise. I don't know if that guard killed the player, but this is a good explanation of when you have a boss confirmed in raid, 
You need to change the way you play and play a little bit slower. Okay? So we're gonna do just that and we're gonna cover this guard body. Once we know everyone's dead, uh, we can do this a lot more safely. I'm gonna do a mag check real quick. Got two ticks. So I went through a third of my ammo on that guy. So we need to make sure we save ammo for any, uh, for any guys. But we hit the payout, we hit the lottery. Getting boss spawn is literally the lottery. That's what you want for this map. That's where you make the most money. Another player down. So we're just covering these boss bodies because everybody wants to loot it. Everybody wants to loot the boss. So I'm just giving myself line of sight to see if anyone comes through the doorway. And most likely they won't see me as they pass by because they'll do it quickly. And then I can do a peek while they're checking the body and uh, get an easy kill. So we turn into rat mode. We want to secure this high end loot. Whenever you get something high end that pays off, you change your play style. You play cautiously, you want to secure it. But until then, I run around like a psycho until I hit one of those high-end spawns. Now, most players might be dead by now, but I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Just a tiny bit more time. We'll sit and chat. Chat, keep an eye on that door for me, too, while I'm reading you. If the SKS drops, great, but I know... Most people, if not everybody, are saying the Golden SKS is not dropping anymore from the boss. That should get fixed eventually. It could just be a low chance now as well. That's probably all the players. I'm gonna go check. Probably all the players. I'll show you the last player spawn though. It's back here in office. Looks clear. This is the last player spawn. So I'm gonna quickly go over them again. On this floor, which is where a lot of the high-end loot is, you have this spawn, you have the one that I spawned out of the beginning of raid over there in garage, and then you have that one in this opposite corner that I'm pointing at, in that back room. Those are the three spawns up here, if you can clear those quickly. Uh, you have nothing else to deal with on this floor until the people from below you come up. You've got above us, up there, up the stairwell, we have the shower room. There's the other spawn. And then you have the two spawns down at the very base floor in tunnels. And then one other spawn on the train tracks on the second floor. That is all of your player spawns. Pay attention to them, learn them. You'll get them over time as you spawn in. We don't see the purple key card. I haven't heard any shots in a long while. So more than likely that we're gonna be safe and okay. Let's do a quick mag check. We got one tick left. So I'll need to find an extra gun if boss is not dead already. And I'm guessing he probably isn't. Ooh, a helmet with a night vision socket. There's one of the max tier armors right there. Let's swap to this. And this is what we're looking for. These are the big payouts. So this armor is worth a lot of money. Oh boy. Ah. Uh... Oh boy. Ignore this. <laughs> Ghost, Ghost of Tabor is a bug free experience. Um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> this, this is what you're looking for. Not only just wearing the armor or just selling it for money, uh, you'll get some good cash out of it. He had an NRS in his bag. That's good. I need those. Uh, there's the helmet there, there's an ump, and what was this guy rocking? He's rocking an AK. I do want the extra AK mags. We use those often. And we still need to find all the other boss guards. I'm guessing he's up here in the outside area.
I'm gonna move these a little bit. Tuck them in a bit more. Okay. Good. Um, I'll come back for this stuff. We need to kill the other guys. I think I'll take... I might as well use the AK, actually. We can use the AK to kill the rest of the guys. They should be back here to the right and the other player, uh, and the boss spawn. We need to be careful though, they do a lot of damage. We wanna take it slow, and with this AK high, higher caliber rounds, I can shoot the head pretty easily in the upper chest. He's probably right out here. Yeah. I need a mag swap. Boss down. Max swap again. Crazy. Holy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. <laughs> a rubber room. Anymore. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. Tell him, Tweak. They locked me in a room? A rubber room. <laughs> a rubber room with rats? And that's a boss kill. Rats make me crazy. That crazy. is a boss kill, chat. I was crazy once. Let's put all the loot up. They locked me in a room? A rubber room? A rubber room with rats? And rats make me crazy. <laughs> Tweak has lost his mind, apparently. Uh, let's hope he gets the help he needs. We love him. There's our Mickey. Put all our helmets together. Because that looks great. It looks very cool. We got our armors. Uh, are we missing an armor? There's only two. Where's the third one? Was one of them not wearing armor? Maybe it despawned. Hey! More mags for my SMG. Holy shit! They got two of them. No golden SKS. Yeah, I don't see the golden handgun. I'll look for it, though. Maybe it's in his pouch. Mm. Why did the bison fall on the ground? Because it doesn't like sitting there. I want to sit all the guns there. On boss pouch. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's right there. Ooh. Wait, no. That's not... Is that the boss's... That's not the boss's pistol. That's different. What the heck? Why be doing that, though? They all have pistols now? Holy shit. There it is. That's interesting that they all have pistols. <laughs> Why do the pistols go up on their nose? You'd rescue me And you'd save me from a certain tragedy Alright, whatever, the pistols want to stay there? That's fine with me. Uh, I want to grab the other guy's pistol too then. Now, his body's probably despawned though. I wonder if he drops... Oh, he does drop the pistol. Alright, once again, this is the big payout that you're hoping for. If you hit boss, it's literally the jackpot of Missile Silo. It's 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 everything that you hope for when doing Missile Silo raids. Alright? I'm gonna grab the rest, because I want to show off how much shit this is. I need you guys to understand how much loot this is. If only I had a Ragnar bag, I could bring all of these guns out, which would be insane. Will it sit up here? Not very well. That's better. Another ump. 
The ump's not gonna sit very well anyway. Maybe there. Okay, just look at all this gear, chat. Lots of high-end helmets, sockets. We've got two really high-end armor rigs, not the best. We also got two of the best armor rigs in the game. Uh, we've got our Mickey mask, good face shield on that helmet. Lots of really high-end pistols. Uh, we got two MP7s? Is that what this is? Chat, are these MP9s or 7s? Where does it say? Doesn't it say somewhere on the gun? I always forget the MP9 and MP7. Which one is this, chat? MP7? Okay, we got two MP7s! A bison, boo, an AK, it's good for mags, uh, and lots of backup ammo for it. This is a massive payout. This is a massive payout. Now I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna take all of this ammo because it is terribly important. Especially for the gun I'm using now. We can actually rock this gun a little bit longer. I can empty the rounds that are in here if you're struggling. Last Christmas, oh, hi, Tweak. My heart. <laughs> the very next day, they gave it away. Oh. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. <gasps> like me? Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. <laughs> but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears. I'll, I'll give, give it to someone special. special. One and twice shy. I keep my distance, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? No. Well, it's been a year. It doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Happy Christmas. I wrapped it up and sent it. What did you send? What did you wrap up and send? God, the AITTS is so good, chat. I love that you guys are using it. It's so good. <laughs> is, that not, is that not fun? It sounds just like Tweak, too, for an AI model that we trained very quickly. I am very impressed with it. Awesome. Grab the rest of the stuff. Now we gotta decide what armor to bring in. So going into missile silo, it's great if you have a squad because they can, if you do hit the jackpot, there's a lot of gear that I have to leave behind, right? Like a lot of gear that I have to leave behind. So that's sad, but it is what it is. With more friends means more hands. I'm definitely carrying out the armor uh, and I want the Mickey mask. I, I only have two open hands to choose from. The rest of the stuff, as amazing as it is, uh, I I'm leaving it behind. All right? It's sad. But before we even leave, we need to go check, um, I'm gonna use the, I guess I'll use these pistols to kill the Phoenixes. They don't have mags in it, chat, why? Um, where's the AK? I'll probably use the AK. This is not the AK. Where did I dump the AK, chat? Right here. Alright. We'll use the AK to kill the rest of the Fenixes, but we still have all the high-end spawns to check. So, we'll come back for that in a little bit. This is hardcore. Oh, that mag's empty. Do I have another one? Okay. This one's full. We're gonna use this to clear. Alright, it doesn't look like anyone's coming here yet. Open it up. We're really just hoping for a really lucky spawn inside these filing cabinets. One shot energy, that's crazy good spawn. Use code TAN at checkout, 10% off. Big. You can also get that M4 skin if you buy this exact box. You can have this same box in your house. So I like to take these out because the box has been very glitchy in the past. But this is a lot of good energy. Like really good energy. Uh, when you're a heavy kitted boy, you want a pack of these, if not two. It's the best energy for your buck. You can quickly pop it. Way better than energy drinks. So that's a really good uh, drop. I love that. 
Uh, and that looks like that's all we're getting, which is okay. See, there's like some weird invisible wall here. What else do we got? How about we don't care about? Nothing. Do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it. Make <laughs> your dreams come true. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. Tell it. Get to the point where anyone else would quit. And you're not going to stop there. Yes. No. What are you waiting for? Nothing. Do it. Okay. Just do it. Where did I drop my AK? Just, just do it. Just if you're tired of starting over. Stop giving up. <laughs> the spacing on it. Why he sound like that though? Oh my god. That's just so funny. Alright, I'm coming back for my AK. I still want to check, um... Did I check office already? I don't think I have. Yeah, I got distracted by boss. So we'll check office and skull room. See if we get any of the high-end payouts there. I'm kind of hoping we don't. Because I don't really have room for it. And I'd rather take this other stuff out. Oh! Those guys are coming. We got a few Fenix respawns. Uh, let's see if this has been dug through. It's definitely been dug through. Boxes are open. Holy shit, they are coming. What are you doing in here? Uh, no key card spawn. No streamer items. Uh, it looks like they've been scooped up and taken out, which is okay. The desks do have a chance for a key card spawn, just like containers. Oh my god. Uh, so it's worth checking. It's just really rare, so... I tend to avoid them, um, and just focus on the high-end tech spawns. Wow, I'm actually out of breath in Missile Silo. Oh yeah, we can check gas spawn. I might have killed you in Silo. I've been doing Silo all day today. Wow. During stream. Raids are going really good. Do you see all that loot back there? <laughs> oh, let me show you how good they're going. Oh, I need to check Skull first, though. How will you use it? Ah! Until tomorrow, as you've done for years, or decide to commit to excellence and rotate. How will you use your new life, chat? Wait, Andrew Tate? Fuck that guy. Sorry. Personal opinion. That guy's an idiot, chat. <laughs> Do not listen to Andrew Tate. If you want female advice and being a, a dude or a female, you don't need to, like... It doesn't need to just be one or the other. Or anywhere in between. Do not listen to Andrew Tate. That guy's a dumbass. <laughs> no, this is not training. This is a real raid. Okay, so I've checked all the high-end spawns. Yeah, there's Crypto Wallet, but I'm running out of food and water, and I have no stamina. So we're just gonna grab what we can, and we're gonna leave. So what am I taking again? I'm taking these things. I think that's it. The rest has to stay behind, unfortunately. There's a lot of good loot here, but, you know, what can I do? What can I do, chat? I'm only a man with two arms, and the two arms are full. All right, let's get out of here. Once again, that's the jackpot. That's what you're looking to farm uh, and looking to, to hit big on Missile Silo. Lots and lots of money there. Lots of money. All right, let's go. Phoenix is gonna be here. Take him out, and we'll get out of here. All right, let's get out of here. What a raid. That paid off huge. That was a massive payout. How many players did we kill? One, two. We got two, and then we killed the rest. A lot of experience, too. I did forget crypto. You should pick up crypto, though. It's worth good money. I'm actually going to put these armor rigs away. We'll take a lower-end rig, because we're doing more missile silo. I do want to take some 
primary ammo modules, though. Let's go back to Missile Silo. Also, I have a bunch of suppressors. They're fun to use. They just sound really cool. So I'll put a SMG suppressor on this. I'll talk a little bit about close quarter combat uh, during this raid, which will also be very helpful for Missile Silo. Uh, oh my chat. Big luck! <laughs> there's the there's the purple key card spawn I was telling you about. <laughs> Let's go! We're going straight into vault. Fuck everything else. Woo! Jackpot! That's what I'm telling you. This is what you're fishing for on Missile Silo. This is what you're fishing for. Holy! Holy! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh! Alright. That's a, that's a good free payout. Okay, I have to hold this, though. So, once again, we're switching our play style. We hit the jackpot, so we hold. Okay? What's that guy doing? He's vibing. So we hit the jackpot, now we secure. If I didn't have any jackpot hits, then I run around and look for them. The night like a firework. So <laughs> He's singing the Katy Perry song. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. I, I, I am. Our singer is dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's f dead. All right, well, that was fun. So we're just gonna hold this angle. This is all about close range combat, and I can talk about tips here. If you need to secure something, holding a tight angle, especially if you have a good SMG or close range gun, like shotguns, um, you easily have the upper hand, okay? Especially with them peeking, not expecting to see you. I'm staying quiet, I'm not making any noise. Most people are gonna fly around this corner without their gun being ready. We can get an easy kill that way. You can apply this anywhere. Right now I'm using this tight angle, but um, you can find any tight angle anywhere on the map to hold. And in this case, behind me, I don't have to worry about anything, right? There's no way someone could get behind me. They're all funneled in front of me. So picking a good spot to hold where you don't have to worry about your backside is really important. It, it, you'll win most of your fights if you hold tight angles and you know somebody's cl close. And you can rat it up if you want. Um, I say there's no shame in ratting. And all the people who get angry at rats, you just need to learn to kill them. You need to learn how rats behave so you can look out for them and check your angles. You basically just can't let your guard down or else rats will, will kill you. But right now, I'm massive rat. I want this gear. It's my cheese, my slice of cheese. And I'm not getting killed in the mousetrap. So we're just gonna chill here for a little bit longer. This is important for you guys to do as well if you want to up the chances of pulling out a jackpot. This is a jackpot. It's been pretty quiet so far. Most people extract pretty early on this map. So, in probably a few more minutes, most people will be dead or gone, but we won't let our guard down as we run through. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. What about the rats on Night Island at church? Yeah, same thing. You just learn to deal with them. You check every tree and you bait a shot. So my favorite thing to do with tree rats, especially on nighttime maps, is you slowly peek out and give more trees visibility to you. So if someone's in that tree, they see you. And you keep jiggle peeking around a corner, trying to bait out a shot, okay? And you keep doing that for a while until one of them shoots. And when they do shoot, that gives you their location, because you can even hear them suppress that close. It gives you their location, and you can quickly peek right back around cover because you're jiggle peeking in and out of cover. So once you have their location, you just re-peek from another angle, light up that tree, and it's easy. Rats are done. Most of them are not gonna land their first shot, especially if you're moving. So learn to deal with rats as much as being one. Does that make sense? Someone's still bagging nearby. He's still here. We'll give him a little bit of time to get out of here. 
I don't hear any long uh, gunfights either. You guys might be wondering, oh, you gotta go check boss. Maybe someone's stealing boss loot. Uh, you would hear the fight, okay? A lot of bullets are flying when there's a fight. Lots of fully auto. So if you ever hear a ton of fully auto fights that are lasting way longer than normal, that is your key. That is your piece of information that tells you that the boss is there and you can start setting up accordingly. Bet? <clears throat> I could bait them, but um, most likely he's about to leave. So I'm just going to let him leave. Mwah. Love you too, I love. Mwah, Cade. You're very sweet. So it's a two stack. They think they have missile siloed by themselves. Because I've been quiet for so long, most likely they believe that everyone is dead or gone. So we can easily catch them by surprise. I'm gonna met up. That's one down, but his friend knows I'm here now. We want we want to get back to full health. I'm gonna double med. His other friend is just holding a corner. He thinks I didn't hear him. I'm gonna talk to him, because he knows I'm here. Yo, sorry about your friend, man. Uh, if you have anything good, I recommend you just get out of here, unless you really want to fight. Do you want to fight, or do you want to live? Open your mic. Talk to me. If you stay silent, I will come kill you. I know you're hiding in a corner. Last chance. Okay, this guy's just gonna be holding me. I'm gonna grab a better armor rig. Okay, we have to deal with someone who's camping us. So now we have a rat to deal with, chat. We've got a little rat to deal with. And I will show you the strats of dealing with the rat. Um, Are these impact grenades, chat? I forget. Are these impacts? Because I might throw this at him. They are? Okay. No, grenades suck. I'm just going to shoot them. Okay, he's camping just outside here. There he is. He's a pretty good shot. dead. Check for extra meds here, because there might be a third. I'm bleeding. Patch it up. Alright, I've got no more health. No more healing unless one of the other guys have it. But that's both of them dead. I only heard two sets of footsteps, but there could be a third chat. I need to be very careful here. Where's my gun? Let's do a mag check. Two ticks, so we're still doing pretty good. Yeah, that one was an impact grenade chat. When I threw it, it blew up. Alright, I've killed two of your boys. Do you really want to be the third? Talk to me. Or I'm coming to kill you. I think that's it, chat. We're gonna do a quick uh, perimeter check and then we'll start loading up on gear. Let's see if he has meds. No meds, another PPSH drum though. That's big. I think it's clear, chat. All right, we should be safe. We should be safe. I think that's the lobby wipes. Okay. More than likely, I might be speaking too soon here. More than likely, we've secured the loot. We're good to go. Could get killed by a Fenix. Pretty unlikely, though. 
Oh, he does have meds. Left corner. Uh, I'm not... You know what? I will pop one. He's got extras. What gun is he rocking? AK, there's an M4. I'm gonna bring this back into vault. We'll go through the loot. Hello? Yo, Thetas! It means a lot to me. Appreciate the sub. Oh, another MP? Is this med used? Yeah, that's my used one, huh? Okay, let's grab these. Alright. So... I'm gonna take this mag. Uh, let's go through all the loot. What do we got? We got free vault. We got extra meds. Love that. Do you like to do the cha cha? Cha cha for me, real quick. Boom, dee dee, ding, 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 boom, dee ding. Now switch it up. What is that song? Isn't that the song where like? <laughs> It's like one of those songs that they play at like high school or middle school dances. And it just like tells you how to move. Am I thinking of the right thing? Now cha cha for me now. Boom be -ge -ge. Am I right? That's an old, like ancient memory you guys just unlocked. I forgot about those songs. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Two step for me now. Two step for me now. <laughs> Is you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> or am I just looking like a crazy person? Chat chat real smooth. Yeah, no, chat knows. Chat knows. Chat knows. Ooh, crypto wallet. You'd rescue me. You'd save me from a certain tragedy. Bing, bing. Alright, chat. We have to decide what guns we're taking. We've got a scar. We've got an M4. The optic. We've got another one of these. MP set MP5, I don't really care. Uh, you gotta pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up, you gotta pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up, you gotta pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up, you gotta pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up, you gotta pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up, you gotta pump it up. You know, pump it up. You gotta pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You gotta pump it up. Don't you know? Pump it up. You gotta pump it up. Don't you know? Pump it up. You gotta pump it up. Don't you know? Pump it up. Why is he reading it so fast? He really wanted to speed through that one. Holy shit! Timeless. He pumped it up good. All right, that's two crypto wallets. Pretty nice. Holy moly! Timeless is pumping it up, chat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number five. Mambo number five. Who sung that song? I forget. I like Shaggy or what was his name? All right, I'm gonna keep looting while we talk, chat. But <laughs> I mean, this is perfect examples of what you're looking for when you're doing missile silo raids. You want to hit those jackpots. They're rare, but they pay out so big when you hit them. And missile silo is so small that you can you can re-roll the dice very quickly, right? You can just you can just keep rolling the dice and spawning new raids and seeing if you get it that time. Put that there. Lots of high-end tech items in here. These sell well. I think I'm gonna take the PPSH out, chat. Hi, chat. Shaky hands? Yeah. I usually do when I have a bunch of caffeine in me. I don't eat in the mornings either, so... Yeah, I have shaky hands. I can still shoot a gun, though! I don't care about that gun. I just want the mags. Where did that go? Caffeine makes a shake, chat. It's free dance moves. Uh, okay, did I get everything? We still have this box. Oh my god, I got a vector too. Mm. A lot of guns here. How does this not fit here? Okay. ACOG. Probably stuff. In the back. That can 
go... It should fit here. Why does it not? There we go. Alright, that's everything picked clean. That's all the bags picked clean. Uh, what am I taking out in my hands? I want the PPSH. It's a disgusting gun. Uh, so I'm gonna take that, and then I suppose we'll take... Chat, what do you guys want? Another MP7? Do you want a Vector? Do you want an M4? Or do you want a Scar? You guys pick. Because I don't really care. They're all they're all good guns. Which one, chat? No, you're hearing a Fenix talking in the background. Someone in chat's saying they hear a hot mic. I see two Vectors, two Scars. Lots of Vectors. Alright, we're taking the Vector. BTW, Dan, you always get this wrong and I kind of am over how wrong you are. What? The black vector is the nine millimeters, and the tan one is the ten millimeters. So this is it. This is a nine mil Glock then, because this is the black one. I'm trying to remember. I'll probably forget though. Most likely they check skull and stuff. I'm just gonna go extract. Those guys had been looting the whole lobby. Uh, they brought me crypto. They brought me all the rest of the loot that they found. So I'm just gonna get out of here. Fennec's over here. Wait, didn't I bring a pistol for this? Pistol for Fennec's. Yes. Oh, we can extract here. Sweet! Alright, let's go. What a good payout. What a good payout. That's money, chat. He's wrong, it's the other way around? Oh my god, is he trying to me up then <laughs> oh wait no gunman says he's right all right we got some cool guns out awesome uh man missile silo is paying out today out the wazoo i'm gonna take this mask off while we do stuff in here so you guys can see a little bit better uh, uh, uh. you can tell if it's nine or ten millimeters by the bullet nine millimeters <laughs> is the black one with pointy tip bullets. Ah. With bullets. Okay. You guys got all these little tricks for me to help me remember? I just threw that in the trash can. I don't even know what it was. I was just flinging things over my shoulder. Whoops. It definitely wasn't like the best item in here, right? Can't have been. Was it? those there. I'll keep a grenade. We got orange too, which is pretty good. Two cryptos. Chad, do you guys want to see what's on the crypto wallets? Press one or else they're just going on the floor. You want to see if they paid out? Hey, chat. Hey, Dan. All right, chat. I'll left. show you. Take it back. Ah. One hop this time. Right foot. Let's stomp. <laughs> foot. Let's stomp. Cha -cha. Real smooth. Real smooth. Take it back now, yo. Oh, this one was shit. 400. Right foot. Let's stomp. Left foot. Let's stomp. Cha cha. Now, y'all. Now it's time 9. to get 7K. Up, To the right. Now. To the left. Take it back. Now, y'all. <laughs> one hop this time. One hop this time. Right foot. Two left foot. Timeless is getting stops. into it, chat. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. 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 Real smooth. Let's go to work. Ew, ew. Man, Timeless should be like a, a singer or a DJ. What do you guys think, chat? I think he's killing it. I would dance if, if Timeless was telling me what to do. Wouldn't you? Hey, yo! Hey, yo! 10 gifted? Yo, Kai, that is so sweet of you. Chat, you know what to do. At Blind Yo Kai, give them thanks. They're taking care of us. It means a fuck ton to me. Thank you, Yokai. Holy. All right, that might be full now. It is definitely full. I emptied it too much. I guess I'll just leave those bolts in there. We'll probably re-need them. Thank you all for watching. If you feel the video deserves it, give it a like, consider subscribing. It means a lot for my small channel. Also, I do a lot of live streaming on twitch.tv. The link will be in the description below. That's all for today. Expect more Ghosts of Tabor content. And until then, I'll see you in the field.